Someone please help me understand why Donald Trump is completely constructed like JJ the damn jet plane and yet none of his plans seem to be able to get off the goddamn ground. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came to read. So before we get into all the topics at hand, if you are following me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and you need to, uh, at Adrian Expression, you will already know that this past weekend I went to South Florida. I was in Miami. I was in Fort Lauderdale. I was getting my life. I was uh, flirting with some of y'all fathers and uncles and shit like that. I was trying to secure somebody's a retirement fund. Like, girl, I was out here doing the damn thing, bitch. I was at brunch, spending so much goddamn money at brunch that I had to come, I had to bring my ass back home and eat some old ass, hard ass spaghetti that was in my fridge from a couple of days ago, girl. It was a beautiful mess. I was out there in my life getting some sun pitch a lot of you may not know this but I did grow up in South Florida I grew up in West Palm Beach most of my life I was born in Brooklyn but I spent most of my life in West Palm so girl I'm used to palm trees and fucking beaches and hot ass fucking men shirtless pretending like they're somebody's masculine top like girl so that was refreshing but it's time to bring my poor ass back into the city and get to work I have to talk about uh, Ghost in the Shell really quickly sweetheart Ghost in the Shell put up this marketing campaign like girl post your fucking pictures and put a caption and bitch they got Drag the hell out of because Scarlet's ass wanted to go ahead and portray an Asian woman in this movie. So, of course, they had to drag her ass on their bitch. These types of marketing campaigns, especially when you hosts are not sensitive to, to cultural needs, bitch, it will always backfire. So, don't think that that shit was cute for a second. All publicity is not all the time necessarily good publicity. Y'all already know I have a problem with Scarlet's white ass feminism, bitch, because it does not involve intersectionality. Hear her ass go thinking that she's standing up for feminism, girl, taking a role that honestly belonged to a minority within a minority. Like, yes, girl, you are a woman, but you have to recognize the privileges that you have as a white woman, girl. If you don't take another goddamn role and let the Asian people in this country get some goddamn representation, bitch, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. As I've said before, what I call white feminism is what I guess you could call uh, colorblind feminism. Like, girl, I don't see color. We're all women. We're all women. You're only worried about the fact that your ass makes 70-something cents on the dollar. Meanwhile, while black women are making even less than that. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to be a true feminist girl, you're going to have to stand up for all women. That's why I say to these Black Lives Matter people as well, if you're going to talk about you uh, Black Lives Matter bitch, that means trans lives have to matter. That means um, gay black ass lives have to matter. That means lesbian black lives have to matter. Like bitch, this is what I mean by intersectionality and Ghost in the Shell girl, that marketing campaign backfired on y'all asses bitch. Get this shit together. Word on the street is that Beyonce might be hinting at something girl. Now let's talk about some history. Uh, in the past, she held up a bunch of lemons and took pictures with them and put it on Instagram and we didn't know what the hell her ass was talking about. We didn't catch on to the fact that she was making the Lemonade album. She was dropping hints long before it came out. We just thought maybe she was trying to be somebody's gardener or some shit. Maybe she picked up a new hobby girl and she was just growing lemons in her backyard like we didn't know what the fuck was tea. And it was only until Lemonade came out that we looked back and was like, oh girl, she's, she's holding all these lemons in her pictures. Like girl, that was the whole reason for her doing it. So now, fast forward to this shit now, she had been on Instagram long before we even knew what was going on she was holding up the number two and shit like that and now she's like wearing these green ass rings and shit like that she's wearing green rings a lot she held up two and, and now we know what that's about we don't know what these green rings are about why she keeps wearing green does that mean that she's gonna name her kid uh green cactus and poison ivy like girl i don't know what the hell's going on she seems to like plants a lot maybe she's gonna name her child oak tree and green leaves bitch i don't know what the hell's going on but let me tell you something she was also seen in this picture uh wearing the earrings from her legendary ass video if I were a boy. Is that hinting to the fact that her ass may be having uh, boys? I don't know girl. I don't know what the tea is. And I know a lot of the uh, Hive might be a little bit disappointed because they wanted a reincarnation of Destiny's Child so maybe they were hoping for all three of her kids to be girls. Listen, I would live for a group called Destiny's Grandchildren and they get their asses up there and give you some single ladies choreo or some shit, bitch. Now put your pacifiers up. Bitch, put your pacifiers up. Get your cribs up, bitch. Now put your bibs up. Bitch, I want, I'm here for it. I want Destiny's grandchildren to happen and you hosts are gonna be mad about it, bitch. They're gonna be on the billboard charts before they even reach six months of age. I just don't know what to tell her. So Beyonce has literally been slaying the goddamn game with these pregnant ass outfits that she has on. I don't know where the fuck her ass is going. The doctors told her ass to sit the fuck down. Here she is, not sitting the fuck down. I'm sure her ass is planning a whole nother album. You know Beyonce can't rest. She, she does, she's a workaholic. You guys need to tell me what you think. Do you think that these are hints? Do you think it's just a coincidence? Like, girl. Now, bitch, we have to talk about Bitch! <laughs>
So let me tell you something, you are an OG if you know where the hell that comes from. The theme song that I just saw was this old ass Wonder Woman show, girl. It's anytime danger would come, bitch, she would come over here and just spin around, turn, turn around like a tornado, girl. And then she would turn from Diana, bitch, to the fucking queen, the fucking princess of Themyscira, girl. Wonder Woman came out here to beat y'all asses, bitch. And let me tell you something, that new fucking trailer has me fucking shook. And Robin Wright is in there, bitch. You think the battle is fair, bitch, bitch. I said, bitch, I said, clear underwear. You better swipe these holes to the left, to the left. Bitch, I want these swords to go across your goddamn face when Wonder Woman comes out here. You hoes better not fuck up this Wonder Woman movie because I'm going to drag. I'm going to drag you if you hoes fuck up this legendary ass, feminist ass, sickening ass woman fucking movie, bitch. I'm going to drag your asses. So the trailer showed a little bit more of the story and now we get to see Diana when she's younger and she's looking and she has to fucking train and shit and Clear Underwood's out here beating her ass, bitch, until she put them bracelets together, bitch. Where are my goddamn bracelets? Bitch, Wonder Woman went like this, bitch. Bitch, she put on the fucking bracelet. Bitch, she put on... Bitch, she said, ho, you... Bitch, what's... Bitch! Steve Trevor over here getting shook as fuck. He's talking, he's talking about, oh, I'm gonna protect you. No, bitch! Bop, bop, block the bullet. Bitch, bop, 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 block the bullet hole. Bitch, that's how I'm with you fucking haters, bitch. Block the shade hole. Shade blockers, bitch. I got on some braces for your ass, girl. I am ready for this movie to fucking come out already. I want that shit to be out. Not only am I ready for that, I'm ready for fucking Justice League, bitch, with Aquaman's fine ass. Aquaman, I want you to put some water in my booty hole. Bitch, I want to go to Atlantis with Aquaman. We're going to have some goddamn mermaid kids, bitch. You hoes are just going to be shook about it. I'm ready, bitch. You hoes better not fuck Wonder Woman up. Now, let's get Get serious for a moment, bitch. We have to go ahead and talk about Donald Trump's toupee wearing ass, bitch. Y'all hoes already know that I'm tired of his tumbleweed in the fucking wind blowing ass goddamn hair, bitch. There's no reason for his hairline to be that fucking receded. You know what? It makes sense because, you know, the, the fucking dead ass brain that's in his skull probably is attracting some type of maggots or something and they are eating away at his scalp and his ability to grow hair. The Republican Party's out here really trying to dismantle the legacy of Obama and what he left behind. Even Obama himself said he would agree to anything that works better than Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. And he was like, girl, I will support it. If y'all can find a better way to do this shit, then I will support it. So even though he knew they were just trying to destroy whatever he created and whatever he had a hand in building that was successful, he was like, well, bitch, I'm not going to be petty. Like, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. But if it's not successful, and if, it, if it doesn't make sense, I can't support that bullshit. So here come the damn trash-ass Republicans trying to pretend like they care about y'all asses. And, and I don't know why. Y'all are falling for it again because they obviously tried y'all in this election, bitch. But here they come again, claiming like, oh, they have your best interests at heart. And this proposed health bill, as analyzed by the Congressional Budget Office, and this is an office that's nonpartisan. I don't know what the hell some of these people are out here in the media trying to spin it as being partisan when the leader of that office is Republican. It came out with a report that said in 2026, an estimated 52 million people would be uninsured. And that's compared with the 28 million who would lack insurance insurance that same year under current law. So what that means is with current health laws like girl 28 million people by the year 2026 would have no health insurance but if they put this new shit in 52 million people will not be covered. Not only that I think senior citizens would see a 750 percent increase in the cost of their damn health care so he's trying to charge these senior citizens. He's trying to charge these fucking poor people who probably the same ones fucking voting for Trump. Every time I log on to Twitter I see another story about a poor ass white hole that was like well girl I'm so shook that I voted for Donald Trump. I can't believe that if this new bill goes into law that I'm gonna lose my health insurance, bitch. We try to tell y'all dumb asses. Y'all got so much pleasure out of trying to drag the shit out of Hillary Clinton. And I know that all politicians lie. I know that nobody's perfect, but at least she knew her shit, girl. Y'all hoes were just so excited to just lock her up, lock her up. Never mind the fact that email fucking scandals already happening in the Republican Party. You hoes ain't saying shit about that other than, oh, don't make a big deal out of it. Like, y'all had Y'all priorities were so fucked up until it was actually time to pay the copay, bitch. Until it was time to review those damn medical bills that your ass thought that you would be taking care of. Now, all of a sudden, bitch.
bitch, I'm supposed to feel sorry for your ass. No, go ahead. Now, we're all in trouble. I'm not saying like, let's just fuck it and not deal with it. But girl, if you happen to be affected and I'm not, girl, I'm not gonna be shook about it. Now, now we gonna all have to do something to get this bill to not pass. I don't know what the hell can happen. I'm not sure about the um, actual politics that go behind it. Justin Jay is a better person to talk to about that shit because I don't know what the hell really has to happen for this bill to come to a halt if it can. But whatever bitch needs to be done, we need to do our research and cancel the fuck out of canceled like my heterosexuality. Just cancel the fuck out of this trash ass shit. As I said before in the live stream, we can find a way to put satellites past fucking Pluto. We can see fucking shit light years away. We can fucking walk on the moon, bitch, and send shit to Mars and Venus and shit like that. But when it comes to taking care of the health of the people within our own goddamn country on our own fucking planet, bitch, we just want to act like, oh, girl, we just don't know what to do. Oh, my God. Coming up with trash ass plans and shit like that that fucks half the damn nation. I don't understand. Y'all hopes want to send shit into space, but bitches can't afford to take some goddamn pills that they need to fucking live on the planet that we walk on. Bitches want to spend millions of dollars on fucking bombing the shit out of people, but don't give a fuck if someone can't afford an ambulance ride. Like, I just, I'm over it, and I'm gonna tell you who else I'm over. Kellyanne Conway, how the fuck you pronounce her damn name with her racist, scarecrow looking ass. I want y'all to get this bitch out of here. She went on to some news station talking about Donald Trump's phones and shit could have been tapped. He could have been being spied on. They can spy on you using phones and laptops and webcams and microwaves. I said, now, bitch, I'm trying to warm up my TV damn dinner because I didn't feel like cooking something, bitch. I didn't realize that all of a sudden a microwave could just get up and start talking like a goddamn transformer or to keep tabs on your internet usage or some shit like that. Kellyanne, what are you talking about, you dumb bitch? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, Donald Trump could have been spied on by his microwave. You know how stupid your ass sounds, bitch? I already, I already dragged your ass for straddling the fuck out of that couch looking like you were at somebody's rodeo or some shit like that. Like, girl, and your airhead built ass, I feel like I could knock on that bitch like my knock would echo for as long as I lived on this earth. There's nothing inside of that damn brain of yours and I'm sick and tired of you displaying it for my ass to have to go ahead and see it every time I log on to any type of social media platform. I'm sick of your ass. Talking about a microwave's gonna spy on Donald Trump, bitch. Y'all hoes really think that you're a part of some type of Teen Titans team? Like y'all hoes think y'all cyborg or some shit? Like the bitch is really finna just stand up? I'm telling you, like bitch, you really think that after you press add 30 seconds on that bitch, she's gonna say, well girl, I saw you were watching porn up last night. Like, girl, what the fuck goes on in y'all mind? Y'all live in a whole new world. I'm not talking about Aladdin. Y'all live in your old fantasy world, and it is not cute. My gay ass thought that I like to watch boys ride dick until I saw the boy Donald Trump riding Russia's dick. It makes me uncomfortable and queasy. I want to go ahead and change it to another porn site because this dick riding that's going on between uh, Russia and goddamn Donald Daffy Duck Trump, I'm sick of it. I want this shit to be investigated. I want Maxine Waters to come down. I said this before. Uh, like Wonder Woman that I just talked about. I want her to have a, a huge ass cape and just come down with a shield and a sword, bitch. I want Auntie Maxine to drag his ass for Phil. It is ironic, though, because I do feel like the amount of geography that Russia occupies on planet Earth is equal to the size of Donald Trump's ego and also equal to the huge lack of his IQ points. Now, I'm down south, but I know in the north y'all are going through some shit. I heard that Frosty the Snowman is out here vomiting all over the northern states. Please be safe. Those people who are watching me in the severe cold, I wish I was truly Daenerys so I could call Drogon to burn some of that snow away and have y'all driveways looking good. <laughs> and lastly, I would like to leave you with this proverb. This goes out to all the men, especially recently when I went down to South Florida, who were kind of pressed that I like to wear short shorts and crop tops, and yet still were trying to hop in my DMs. If you're having some problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 personality traits and masculinity ain't one. Have a good evening.